Hi everybody, my name is Ben. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to share this with you in person today, but I hope my story still comes across through this video and you yourself can enjoy and or be inspired. We always like to be inspired. Unlike most stories, I've always been chubby my entire life. Even as a kid, I was a very chubby, chubby kid, which even grew into a chubby, chubby, even chubbier adult. My max, somewhere around the age of 25, I reached uh, about 300 pounds and I fluctuated between 300 and 250 pounds over the course of the next few years. I had been suggested many times I lose weight, but of course I was happy with myself and decided I didn't need to lose the weight. The turning point for me uh, was going to the doctor, chest pains, trouble sleeping, snoring, and the doctor told me, I don't know what's wrong with you, you probably should lose weight figure it all out after that. Very rude doctor. I don't go back to that person anymore. Seeing that doctor combined with seeing uh, some pictures of myself at a friend's wedding, uh, I chose to begin the journey of losing weight. I started watching what I was eating. I started uh, exercising a bit more. Uh, and after about six months, I had only lost 12 pounds. You want to lose more. A friend of mine uh, asked me to join Weight Watchers with her. I contend it was a ploy on her part to get me into Weight Watchers. Uh, she knew I wouldn't go alone uh, because she herself is skinny and doesn't need to lose a pound, but swear she needed to lose five pounds. Yeah, whatever, you know, sneeze, you might lose a couple pounds right there. So she conned me into joining Weight Watchers with her and then quit Weight Watchers after about two months anyway because she got me in and hooked at that point. In the first couple weeks I was on Weight Watchers, I saw the pounds melting away. Five pounds, six pounds, five pounds, seven pounds, shedding off of my body after I joined Weight Watchers. A uh, big eye-opener for me uh, when I joined Weight Watchers, I spent the first week eating, the first few days I should say, eating what I normally ate and tracking it just to see how many points it was and I was eating way too much, going far over my points even when I thought I was being healthy. Every now and then uh, I would hit a plateau, I could feel myself going up, going down and I'm sure much of you can agree your emotions ride with that too. I'm down on the scale, I'm happy, I'm up on the scale, I'm sad. It ran the gamut on, on, on emotions uh, that were tied to my weight loss. It's been a few years uh, since I started my journey. I'm currently down 80 pounds on Weight Watchers. I give all the credit for all, every pound that I've lost to Weight Watchers and furthermore to my friend who made me join. You got me. I was able to lose the weight. Tips. I'm sure a lot of you want to know what are some of my tips for losing 80 pounds on Weight Watchers. Tip number one, track. Tip number two, track. Tip number three, can I remember? What was tip number three? Track. I knew that. Sure you did. Have you been down here the whole time? Oh, yeah, I was going to give you some notes later. Awesome. That was the biggest thing for me. Obviously, the biggest, 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 biggest benefit was tracking. Also, you need to find your anchor. Do you have my anchor? I remembered to bring it. Thank you. This is my anchor. This is what keeps me grounded and makes me remember where I've been and where I'm trying to go. On this anchor, you will see my Weight Watchers weight loss charms for 25, 50, and 75 pounds. I'm still on my journey. I haven't yet reached goal, but I'm not willing to give up. Even as I'm shooting this video, I'm getting ready to go work out because I am not willing to give up. I'm going to get to my goal. I'm patient, I'm determined, and I will get there. Many of you may be asking, what's the difference between me and you? Nothing. I'm just like everybody else in the room. All it takes is determination and a good support staff. My family, my friends, even my coworkers were on board with helping me down this journey. Without them, I wouldn't have gotten there. Without everybody being on my side, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am. So make sure you have the right support staff and make sure you too are determined 
to do what is necessary to get to where you want to go. Your on-camera personality is terrible. Thank you. Well, that's my story. Thanks for listening. If you guys have any questions, I'm not there to answer them. So have fun asking them to yourselves. If you want to email me, here is my email address. If you'd like to find my blog, where you can read about my entire journey, here is my blog. Stay on your journey. Don't give up.